The remains of a North Texas Marine are finally home tonight, 74 years after he died fighting in World War II. Our Lauren Zakalik shows us the special reception he received. The skies above DFW Airport are full of people headed home. But this airport homecoming. Oh, it's very emotional. <laughs> very just. <laughs> is different. Yeah, it's just crazy. It's a moment more than seven decades in the making. It's emotion, pride, all kinds of things. Brothers Stacy and Brent Snap had heard mentions growing up of their cousin Raymond Snap, a Marine corporal from Montague County who died in World War II. He was just 24. What they didn't realize is that in the 74 years since he passed away, his remains had never been identified. For all these years, they've known that the Marine was killed. They've known what day and in what battle, but that's it. But Major Tim Kronjaeger says last year, the government exhumed the bodies of 94 unidentified World War II veterans buried in Hawaii to see if advancements in DNA testing and science could help identify them. You can imagine chills went down my spine. The Snap brothers found out just two weeks ago their father's first cousin had been identified and was coming home. You two, how tall were they using the running or something? The Marines, the airport, police, and Patriot Guard riders were ready to welcome him. After 70 plus years to be able to bring this man home to his family and home to his final resting place, it's an American story. And so just before 1130 Thursday morning, a Delta flight landed at DFW Airport carrying an American hero. People watched gripped from inside the airport as Corporal Raymond Snap got the homecoming he always deserved and a motorcade to accompany him all the way to his final resting place. The Snap family was touched. Three things that you hold dear, you know, your, your God, your family, and your country. And it's a display of the best of all three. Just as important, 74 years later. Lawrence Akalik, Channel 8 News.